It's a Saturday afternoon. I've just knocked off work and we're heading down to Salt Creek. Alrighty guys, so what we're doing here now is actually letting our fires down. Just like that you can see the air escaping. What that actually allows us to do is it gives us more um, air surface area of the tyre and it allows us to get more traction when going over the sand dunes. So what we're going to do, we want to get done on four of these. So at the moment we're sitting around 18 PSI, we've got these set to. That allows us to have a lot of traction and going over the roof off sand and hopefully we don't get bogged. But anyway, that's how we let down our tyres. Sinkers, and we found that with those, they were staying in the 
concerned, however, they were uh, catching quite a bit of weed. So what we've decided to move over to the star sinkers. They've been actually staying really well in the surf. We haven't um, been having bait flowing down. So they've worked really well and they haven't got as much seaweed. So anyway guys, that's the setup we're using today and hopefully we can get onto a big mullet for you. Alrighty guys, I've just got to a bronze down the little stick. This is sick, oh, that is awesome. A baby bronzy in the wash. Look at him. Oh, I'm only using like 20 pound line. Can I get him? Look at this guy, that is absolutely awesome. Oh, look at him. A little bronzy. That's pretty cool. I've got a beautifully cut garfish here. I'm just going to show you how I like to rig it up. What I like to do first of all, pop it straight through there and then straight out there. Beautifully sit like that. Straight along, my way cup along, sets the hook. Got it beautiful like that. And a second hook. Straight in the middle there. And then pop that one just out there. Same sort of thing. And you can see that sits beautifully there with two exposed hooks. So he's going to come along. He's gonna, I'm going to feel the bite, strike, and then I'm hooking. And then the last thing that I like to do, especially when fishing in the surf, because um, with the swell and all that, it may um, ruin your bait. So it just keeps it a little bit longer. Half pitch around the tail. Whoop. Again, half pitch around the tail. Pull that tight. And what that's going to do is secure your actual bait in the water, so it's not going to be pulling off. Hopefully that passes a big mull away. Get it. 
There we go. All right, straight out, guys. Guys, I don't know if that's going to show up on the camera, but as you can see there, I've got quite a bit of fray from this, um, well, from the few bronzes I've actually caught. So this is one of the main reasons why I use 80 pound leader, um, because of the main fact, if you do hook into a big mulloway and you've got fray from before, or um, it is quite a toothy critter, this is going to, it's going to snap you off it essentially. So you want to make sure you're using a bit heavier line. So I want to quickly show you those teeth, these little bronzes have here. Oh. Smile for us. Look at that. And they will easily cut through that line, no problems at all. Alrighty guys, so it's about 7, 7.30 at the moment. We ended up with around six bronzies today and I got that small little mull away which was a bit of a surprise um, earlier on in the morning so it was wasn't a very eventful day however the bronzies did keep it a bit um, full of action so anyway we are eating dinner at the moment check this out absolutely awesome it's the most Aussie dinner you can get onions bread butter sausages absolutely awesome anyway so I'm gonna finish this I'm gonna Hopefully get back out there and do a bit of a night sesh, but anyway, fingers crossed we'll get into a big one for you. Oh, look at that. day two of our two day trip here at Salt Creek. Uh, last night was pretty uneventful. Um, the weed mainly got to us. We were fishing up until about 12.30 uh, and we just couldn't even keep a bait in the water. It was that bad with weed so we just ended up calling it quits. Um, and anyway, we're back here at, at, at the morning. Haven't had a bite yet. However, fingers crossed, the high tide is coming up at the moment. Um, I'll show you how high it actually went to. You, you, believe, you won't believe it, but anyway, Hopefully we can get onto a mulloway for you, but anyway, stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so I just want to show you where we're actually fishing. You can see just here all these breakers enclosed here. We There's a gunner that runs all the way along here, it's like not even three metres out. Um, we're fishing behind the second breakers here and casting into the gutter behind it. And what that's actually doing is that wash is coming off, all the food is coming off, falling into that gutter there. The big fish are swimming all along here on that second gutter. And hopefully, we're, we're casting our baits in there and hopefully we can get onto a big mully. But anyway, that's where we're fishing and hopefully, fingers crossed. Alrighty guys, so we've just finished up our session here at Salt Creek. We fished last night into the night, probably about 12.31. Um, didn't get anything unfortunately. And we just fished uh, about four hours just in the day now. It's around 11, 12 o'clock. Um, didn't even get a bite unfortunately. So we've decided to head back home. But anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, subscribe and share with your mates. Make sure to turn on post notifications to be up, uh, updated whenever I upload a video. So the first ones to view it. Also, I will be doing a few more videos over 
for the next couple of weeks, one down the bottom end of the York Peninsula, so hopefully we get into a few snapper and whiting for you. Anyway, stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed this video, and have a good one.